I thought this video would be helpful for anybody who has a Blackstone grill, model number 1868 with the four um, air fryers underneath. If they decided decided to upgrade their caster wheels to newer ones, um, I purchased these off of Amazon and I was just under the assumption that you would just be able to swap them out. I thought all stems were the same size, but for my particular project that I wanted to do, then it's not the same size. So when these arrived, I was, I just assumed, you know, I took off this nut and if this nut didn't fit on here, then it wouldn't work. But the nut fit, you know, the nut fit, so that meant I would be able to screw my, the newer casters on with, with no problem, just swap them out. Take me less than five minutes. Well, actually, the threads on here are smaller than the threads on here. So when I went to go put the newer casters on, I screwed it in, it only went down two and a half threads, two twists, and it stopped. And I didn't want to force it on because it would probably not probably it would mess up the threads inner threads so then i i really wanted to you know put these on so i did some searching on on youtube and um decided to buy a tap and die set i never used this tool before i'm not familiar with it um i looked at a couple of the videos where people were demonstrating on how to use this tool um this is the one i came across that the video I came across that somebody was using. I really like the handle and how it was easy for them to turn with the handle and plus the, the ones that I've seen, they didn't come with this measuring thread tool. Um, not to say, the ones I came across, they didn't have it, but I'm sure there are some kits that do have this tool with it. Um, so I purchased this kit, um, had all the measuring, there's measuring documents of all the, the, the pieces on the inside of the kit. A nice little kit, you know, had everything. So to do this job, you need a tap and die kit. Um, you need some oil. This is the oil that I use. Not to say you can't use any other oil. Um, and a pipe cleaner, a little small pipe cleaner like that. So I'm gonna just show you what I did to make my casters fit on my grill. Okay, so this is what happened when I went to put on the newer, newer casters. So here's the old ones. Oh, it's gone. It's gone with no problem at all. See? These are on. Take them out. Now, when I have to go put the newer caster on, I want to be careful so I don't strip it. Go put the old caster so it's not gripping there. This is far as far as it'll go. <clears throat> it's in there, but it won't go any further. And you see, you got like a an inch. You need to go to um, for the wheel to be totally secure. Okay. So this is what I did. <clears throat> I'm not gonna speed the video up because I want you to see how slow I actually tap into this hole. Um, first thing I did was I added some oil on the inner side of the hole. And then I added, I actually took out the, took this out, pulled, make sure <clears throat> you want to thread your tap into the hole so you want to make sure it's straight so I already put the oil in there in the inner 
on the inner threads. Now I want to screw the top in to make sure it's straight. So I don't force it. I just let it catch itself. And you'll know. So see, like it's caught and it's straight. <clears throat> you can tell that it's, that, that it's straight. So then, put your handle on. Make it tight. Make sure it's caught. Then, make sure it's straight. Now I add oil to the outer threads just to make sure that it's glued up really good. Yeah. There. When I start, I start slow. You can hear it start catching. So I start slow. And you just keep twisting. Keep twisting. Now, in the videos that I saw, when it started get, getting tight like this, they backed out. They backed out a little bit. And then they went forward and it made it easier. They said it was because it was cleaning, taking the debris out or cleaning out the threads when you back out and then restart again. And it and it seemed to make it easier because once I, if I kept going, it would get harder and harder and harder. So like here, it's really hard. I'll back out. You can hear it out, hear it grinding. Go for it. In this process, you have to go really slow. Oh, see, it's hard. And you back out. It's hard. So you get the you get the idea. Now it's getting easier. All the way down. Back it out. Or you can just back it out. metal fragments <clears throat> and you want to clean that off you want to clean all the metal fragments clean that all up in there get a towel Clean that is. Yeah. Perfect. So after you finish tapping the hole, just make sure you clean out your your tap threads with your brush really good. And make sure you clean out the hole. You're screwing your new caster. Should go in. To be easy now. Make sure it's straight. Yeah. Nice and smooth. All the way down to the bottom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
done. Good as new. Perfect. So this is what it looks like after you finish installing the, the casters. Um, I think it looks good. Got your orange wheels. Matches the air fryer handles and the Blackstone logo and the knobs. Um, you can move it one one hand. Easier to move now. Slightly taller, I think like an inch or so, inch and a half, maybe less, but that's, that's fine with me. It's just the mobility I was looking for. So, hope this video helps you if you decide to upgrade your caster wheels. Um, thanks.